Okay, so this is my outfit. I have a J. Crew sweater on. It's the softest thing in the whole world. My little heart monitor. You can't really see it with this, which is great. Jeans from Abercrombie. They're flared. I'm gonna wear my boots with them. And I'm trying to see if the belt will look cute with this outfit. This one, cute. I'm ready to go. Hair's kinda, could be better. <laughs> He's dramatic. Yes. I'm going to read Numbers 1 through 3 in John 11 and get some tea. <laughs> yourself in the moment. It is your one chance. You can't blow it. Mom spaghetti. That's it. On this day, my mom and I, we went to the thrift store and it was super fun. As I have seen myself in different situations, I find myself sometimes not enjoying the moment because of the amount of pressure that I put on myself and I'm sure many of you can empathize with this, but ultimately, yes, the pressure you put on yourself sometimes pushes you to be in the place that you are right now. And to you, kudos. Kudos for that. But let's not forget that our identity comes from God and how God sees us, that we are his children, and that he first and foremost calls us to love him and secondly calls us to love our neighbor. And so as inadequate as you may feel or behind as you may feel or different as you may feel, just know that God created you in his specific image for his specific purpose. And ultimately that is what life is about. It's not about accomplishing more than other people or being in the same place as other people, but it is about doing the work of the Lord and following his will, whatever that may be. And that is something that I'm trying to figure out daily, but I'm trying to make decisions, micro decisions and big decisions that will lead me to glorifying God and that are glorifying to God. And in order to determine that, I need to constantly be in his word, figuring out, okay, this is what God would want me to do, or this is reflecting the character of God. What do I and do? And this is how Jesus would have acted. Um, where's my part? Okay, I need to fix that. Here's my little give me a cowboy mug that I made back in December, but I thought it was cute and I like the colors on it. I'm going to start going back into my ceramics very soon. It's pretty fun. I have to go get dressed so that I can go to my labs right now. I've tried so many different things and not a lot of them have stuck. And something I've learned from that is I think each thing that I've tried I've learned from and figured out, okay, this isn't for me or maybe I want to explore this more. So that's what I'm doing with art right now, without the pressure of it, just kind of enjoying and learning a lot more than I ever have. And I have a great <laughs> example. My mom is such an amazing painter, but yeah, I'm just trying to allow myself to be more creative. Hi, my friends. I just woke up. I have some things on my agenda today. I'm going to read my Bible, do my laundry, eat, obviously work out I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna leave I'm gonna go get my friend a gift for her birthday and then come home package that and then I have church later so I gotta get a move on I'm either gonna go to boot barn today or stitch and feather and I'm gonna take you along look how cute 
Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to try these on. I love how, where it cuts on the shoulder. Look at the pattern. This is so soft. This top is very loungy. This shirt is so flattering. It's so cute. I want to see. I am feeling very tired right now and honestly pretty stressed out. So I'm going to read my Bible. It's pretty late. I'm gonna go to bed. I have an exciting day. This is a bit of the mess I walked into. Not too bad here. That needs to be cleaned. I would like to start a garden and I'm excited to see my sister's chickens next week. I am going to hang out with my friends because my friend came back from Florida and I've missed her and haven't seen her in so long. So I'm so excited. Her and her friend are here, so I get to meet her friend too. But here is a chicken I made. This is so random. Like, what am I doing right now? I just need to go to bed. Ceramic chicken. This is silk chiffon. It's like a little ornament, but he makes me happy. My friend Madison got me this, and I thrifted some of this stuff. I will update you tomorrow. What did you order? Frozen banana dipped in milk chocolate with Reese's. That's a premium. Pre it's premium good. dark chocolate. Oh, yum. What did you order? Dipped in premium chocolate. <laughs> chocolate Close sprinkles. Uh, Yummy. What's it like? It's, good. it's like cheesecake dipped in premium dark chocolate with toasted <laughs> coconut. Not Wait, that is aesthetic right there. Aesthetic. Be about it. Okay. Not the premium. The brown banana. <laughs> 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 she Oh. I missed you guys. That's Will's next favorite. <laughs> right there. Stop. That right there. I got. Yes. <laughs> you got an answer. Right? You got an answer. Did you bring your first job? We just love our nanners. <laughs> We're those? in Balboa Island yes, right are. now. What are the to true We're looking at Will's new favorite store right now, currently. <laughs> What if this whole time you're like not tall, you're like a different It reminds me of St. Gourmet toast. I feel like men with dark features. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> At the fire station, what happened? Natalie thought that the sign in front of the house meant that the house was for sale. So she was like, oh wait, no guys, look, like it's it's for sale. Do you see those sirens? Really? I'm gonna come for you. That was my third suggestion. Because I'm a bad boy. Bad boy, oh. bad boy. What you gonna, what you gonna do? Like what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I know. What does this sign say? Surely temple? Temple. Okay, do your own thing. Do your own thing, now's your time. 